Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. Today I'm gonna to answer that question of do I need a sump pump? So if you live in a part of the country where you take on a lot of heavy water, whether you're on a slab or you have a basement or you have a crawl space, I feel like this video will help you out, so stay tuned. If you're new to Crawl Space Ninja, we talk about everything related to encapsulation, waterproofing, sump pumps. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel, ring that notifications bell. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Check out our DIY store and our franchise opportunities. Speaking of franchise opportunities, I just want to let all of you know that we've got two new locations opening soon in Lexington, Kentucky and Columbus, Ohio. So make sure you check those out. So what is a sump pump? A sump pump is basically a mechanical device that as water enters a basin, which is normally where you should install a sump pump, a float kicks in similar to the float that perhaps you're used to seeing inside your toilet tank. As if you've ever taken that off, you'll see this, this float that rises to turn off the water. Well, the sump pump is very similar. They have those type of floats. Sometimes they're really tall and stick out of a basin. If you've seen those, we recommend a sealed submersible sump pump. Uh, because it, it tends to kick on better, runs longer, runs cooler, got a lot of advantages, uh, higher output, more efficient, different things like that. So if you've got a standing water issue, uh, a sump pump is a great way to move that water from around the foundation of the home and get it far, far away from your house to help eliminate high humidity in the crawl space or inside the house itself. So if you're on a slab, a lot of people don't think about installing a sump pump, but a lot of coastal regions where they may not have crawl spaces or basements and everybody's yard is the same level. You get a lot of water table that rises up whenever flooding happens or hurricanes or different things like that happen, plus the, the rainfall adding to that water table. And we have seen homes, even on slab, flood. Okay, the water gets above that door jam and starts to roll into your house. So one of the things you may want to consider is an exterior French drain around that home and go to a basin and a sump pump that is installed on the outside of the house. You can do different things like have outside electrical ran to it. A lot of these are done underground so that they hide a lot of that. You can put them in flower beds so they're not as noticeable. But if you're having flooding issues on a slab home, we would recommend you consider a sump pump around the outside of the house. Should you install a sump pump in your crawl space? Well, this is an interesting fact. According to HUD.gov, that's the Housing and Urban Development Government Agency, they recommend that if the dirt level inside of the crawl space is lower than the dirt level outside of the crawl space, you should always install an interior French drain that leads to a sump pump. They have three recommendations and I'll put links to all three of those down below, but one of those three is what we do, which is an interior waterproofing system or water management system. Because even if you're not taking on flooding, let's say your footer drain's working, you got all your downspouts intact and all that sort of thing, Remember that water table will rise and hit that crawl space dirt and, and get out of that crawl space dirt way before it rises to the outside level of the dirt outside the home. So you wanna make sure that you have something inside the crawl space according to HUD.gov to address that standing water as that water table rises, even if it's only once every you know few years, you still don't wanna encapsulate that crawl space put all that pretty plastic down there, control humidity, install a dehumidifier, uh, which by the way, if it gets wet uh, from a flood is ruined. Uh, you wanna make sure that you take care of all that and, and, and be sure that if you're considering an encapsulation project, that waterproofing is part of that, whether you have an active flood or not, just based on the HUD recommendation. Those of you with finished and unfinished basements, you all know this too well, that basements can flood even the concrete can crack and become porous and water can enter through the water table just like inside the crawl space. You can get outside water through the hydrostatic pressure of the foundation wall. The footer drain can fail just like in a crawl space, especially up north. We hear a lot of homes up there built in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Now they, they just, all of them just about have an interior waterproofing system for the basement. Make sure that sump pump is installed properly. Make sure you do it about every 140 linear feet to address all of those potential flooding issues. Again, don't 
install that, that discharge line in sewer drains or anything like that, make sure you discharge it directly to the street if possible, and that way you'll help keep your basement, your slab, and your crawl space dry. I'm Michael Church with Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.